All right, today the movie is Pretty Woman, released on March 23rd, 1990. Welcome to Brandon at Random Reviews, covering one unsystematically chosen movie at a time. Directed by Gary Marshall. For the cast, we have Richard Gere as Edward Lewis, Julia Roberts as Vivian Ward, Jason Alexander as Philip Stuckey, Laura San Giacomo as Kit DeLuca, and Hector Elizondo as Barney Thompson. For the plot synopsis, a wealthy man meets a prostitute who looks way too much like Julia Roberts to be a real prostitute, and he pays her to get fancied up and attend social events with him, posing as a couple together. Alright guys, let's just dive right into this motherfucking movie. So this movie follows a rich dude named Edward, as I mentioned, who seemingly lets the women in his life take a back seat to all of his other priorities and expects them to drop everything to just attend events with him. Enter a woman of the night who is struggling with her irresponsible roommate who spends their rent money on drugs and owes people money on top of that, which is I guess not okay. And trust me when I say this, Vivian is not a typical prostitute. She doesn't do drugs and she even insists on condom use, which she brings with her in an assortment of bright colors. Vivian wears clothes like what I imagine girls who have never seen real prostitutes would wear. She starts off with this shitty blonde wig and gets picked up by Edward when he's trying to get directions and he sees something in her and he realizes that she might be the perfect lady to pay to spend time with him even for non-sex stuff. What a freak. But like Richard Gere, you can 100% find a non-sex worker with no life to do this for you who is at least as good looking as Julia Roberts, bud. You gotta believe in yourself, okay? Anywho, Edward eventually works out a deal with her to pay her to pose as his lady, even helping her with a makeover, including a expensive clothes and jewelry. Vivian is viewed by almost everyone in his circles as an outsider and let her know that they don't really think she belongs or is deserving of higher end stuff. But Edward doesn't really put up with that for very long. Gear and Roberts' chemistry is undeniable. They also starred as love interests in the film Runaway Bride, which is honestly a dog shit flick. Like, you look at the poster for this movie, and she is literally lacing up tennis shoes on the front cover. It is so fucking stupid. Among those in Edward's friend group who are actually aware of her background, she is treated even more like garbage. Jason Alexander is a terrific actor who has really made a career outside of his role as George Costanza in Seinfeld, and he is great in this. I mean, he plays a piece of shit, but he sells it and people say Alexander really is a terrific guy, despite the roles he often plays. There are some great memorable scenes throughout this film, and I'm not a particularly big Richard Gere fan since his characters are always a little bit blander than like a teaspoon of skim milk on a sheet of parchment paper. Julia Roberts actually really put herself on the map with this movie, displaying an extremely high likability factor. We'll call it like an 8. Alright, on to ratings. IMDb 7.1, Letterboxd 3.6, Rotten Tomato Critic Score 65%, Rotten Tomato Audience Score 68%. Personal rating, 4 out of 5 stars. This is a top tier quote unquote chick flick, and despite being given such a designation, it's not overly sappy and the story is good enough to be compelling. If you're with your best gal and you're trying to decide on what you could watch together, or if you record reviews of movies in your spare time, you could certainly do a lot worse than Pretty Woman. All right, everyone, thank you for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. Bye now. <laughs>